Hello everyone, that's uh, Jigs talking to you. I know I'm pretty lively right now, I just got done off the phone with a pretty funny person and uh, made me laugh a little bit. So, uh, alright, let's get started. The first thing I need you guys to do is to go download it. And the link's going to appear right now. Go Hit that link, go download the file. It's um, a zip folder, you need an extractor to unzip it. I use WinRAR, if you don't have it, go get it, it's free. <clears throat> Extract it into your WoW UI, and there should be a folder called Textures. And if you click in that folder, there is seven panels: panel one, panel two, panel three, all the way up to panel seven. Then you also have to download KG panels and Dominoes. And if you're not going to use Domino Dominoes, use like Bartender or something where all you need is your action bars to be free float, and you can just throw them anywhere on the screen. Alright, once you got all that, open up Worlds of Warcraft, <clears throat> go into your add-ons folder, turn everything off except for dominoes and KG panels. Once you got them, I'm going to create a new character, so I'm on the same level as you guys. Uh, Alright, here we go. and get out of that alright so this is probably not what your screen looks like but once you have dominoes just right click on dominoes and get all the bars out of your way make sure they're all up on top because we're going to be working on the bottom take your chat Move it up. Alright. Now you're going to type in slash kg panels config. I need to make a new layout. Here we go. Alright, so you're going to have general options. You're going to have art library, default panel, options, activate panels. You're going to go to the general layout hit the plus arrow, go down to layouts, you're going to make yourself a layout. Make it uh, your character's name, why not, you know? Pretty simple. Alright, here we go. You're going to hit OK, and then you're going to hit a Create, and you're going to see that's going to be on the drop-down menu of layouts. You're going to hit Activate, go back down to General Options, hit Enable, Add-on should be checked, and then you should say Activate Layout, and should say your guy's name. If so, you're doing good so far, keep it up. Alright, Artwork Name. This is where. Crap, excuse me. I just need to get these out so it looks like your screen. Just so I can follow you a little better. Or you guys can follow me a little better. Um, art library is where you're going to tell KG Panels to go find your panels. Alright, so I'm just going to use numbers. In this case, easy to be you know keep track of I'm gonna hit one I'm gonna hit OK make sure it says background and you're gonna type this in that's gonna tell your computer I'm at KG panels to go to the interface folder to go into the add-ons folder to go into the subfolder textures and to open up panel one dot TGA once you're okay with that hit OK then hit add you notice underneath the backgrounds you have one and you can see a picture of the panel. Alright, now you're going to do that for all seven. You're going to hit artwork name two, hit OK, type in that path again, but make sure it says panel two and not panel one, hit OK, hit add. And do that for all seven. Alrighty then. It's three, four, um, just be patient real quick. If you guys don't mind, I am uh, just trying to uh, make this easier for you guys. Oh, and um, panels 4 and 5 are going to look almost identical, but they're not. Just to let you know that. And last one, number 7. All right. Once we have all of them, 
go down, make sure that they are all there and that none of them are repeated. All right, once you got them, we're going to go down to activate panels. You're going to hit panel name one. You're going to hit OK. You're going to hit create. And you're going to notice how panel one comes down here. And if you actually move this, it should be draggable and you should be able to move it, panel one. It does look small, but don't worry about it. We're going to take care of the size. Go to texture options, and you're going to notice one through seven is not there. Now that's a problem. So close out of all this and type in slash reload UI. Let it do its thing. All right, once you get back into the game, you type in slash KG panels. Config. Oops, forgot the space. KG panels. Config. All right. Now we're going to go back down to activate panels. There's one. Hit the plus arrow. Texture options. If you notice, now one should seven should all pop up. We're going to hit one. All right. Now if you noticed, the graphic now appears. All right. We're going to go down to border texture is going to be none. And that's it for that. Go back up to one right here. Um, you can unlock panel for now because it's not solid. Go to background color style. It should be none. And now you should get that more of that broader look. Now you can, it's no. Um, I turn my opacity panel to uh, 7, 70. That's what I use. If you like 100, you go for 100. If you like 30, you go to 30. It's all preference at that at that part. All right, now we go down to scaling. Um, I use 8.4. Now, depending on what you guys are used to, depending on what you guys are used to, 8.4 is going to be small. Or it might be too big, you shrink it down. Um, and it's going to look small at the moment because we didn't adjust the panel height. Panel height, I normally use 256. That's my default. And the width is 512. Now you should get more of that. Oh, okay, I'm starting to see the size now. Once you have that, you have these... Um, X offset and Y offset. This is going to tell your coordinates of your panel. Notice how I move it. You know, you get that the numbers change. Um, you can use either by numbers or you can use um, the merge buttons down here. I'm thinking if you're going to be a beginner, just use your, your nudge. Make sure that it is firm against what's it called the screen no gaps at all so you get it crisp and then move it down to crisp okay now we're gonna lock that because that is finished now we're gonna go activate panels number two hit OK hit create alright this is starting to look familiar now now if you don't need any more help just go on faster I'm gonna stay here and help anyone that needs help really. Um, go back down to texture options, go down to number two. Border textures set to none. Back up to two. We're going to set the scaling to 8.4. And we're going to set the panel height to 256. 512 for the width. All right. Now we're going to move panel 2 kind of close to where I want it. And we're going to use the the nudge buttons. Get it crisp. And I'm not don't over don't overkill it. If you overkill it's not going to look right. Perfect. All right. Now that add-on's all done except wait, I forgot to set the opacity. We're going to set that down to 70. Cuz that's how I like it. But then again, you can use 100, it does not matter.